Taipei News, bringing Taipei to you. Welcome to Taipei News. I'm Kenneth Chi, and thank you for joining us. Let's start with some exciting news. Taipei City has been ranked as Asia's friendliest city, according to Preply, a language learning website. This ranking is based on factors such as return visit rates, diversity acceptance, and safety. Taipei scored the highest among 20 cities in Asia, particularly in diversity acceptance, with also high scores in safety and friendliness toward tourists. Taipei has earned its title as the friendliest city in Asia. Other cities on the list include Singapore in second place. Seoul in fourth, Bangkok in sixth, Tokyo in eleventh, Shanghai in fourteenth, and Hong Kong in sixteenth. To see the complete list, visit Preply's blog. Fashion lovers, here's a month of style and inspiration for you. Taipei Fashion Week 2024, co organized by the Taipei City Cultural Affairs Bureau, the Ministry of Culture, And the Ministry of Economic Affairs runs from September 27th to October 30th. This year's theme, Dress Code Taipei Dresses Up Taipei, invites everyone to showcase their unique interpretation of the city through everyday fashion. Director of Taipei Cultural Affairs Bureau Tai Shiping said Taipei Fashion Week always offers something special each year. This year, the show inside the stylish Oak House Cafe in Da Dao Chen really showcases our creativity. Taipei Fashion Week every year has a unique flavor. This year, in Da Dao Chen, this event will become a huge flavor. We chose a very unique cafe with a very unique style of shop. The old house in Da Dao Chen. Taipei Fashion Week is one of the Asia's four major fashion weeks, along with Tokyo, Seoul, and Shanghai. Taipei's show has been running since 2018. For more details, visit www.vogue.com.tw/tpefw/fno. Have you ever wondered how Taiwanese people lived after World War II? The Taipei Military Dependents Village Cultural Festival invites you to explore these historic communities. Throughout October, you can visit preserved military dependence villages in Taipei, New Taipei, Taoyuan, and Guilong to catch a glimpse of life from the past. With the theme "Remember Forever," this festival offers a great opportunity to experience the unique atmosphere of the military village era, known as Zhuanquan in Mandarin Chinese. These villages were established in Taiwan in 1949 to house soldiers and their families who arrived with Chiang Kai-shek's nationalist army. For more detail, visit the Facebook page at facebook.com/militaryvillage.taipei or go to portly.cc/2024militaryvillage. It's that season once again. Fall is here, and the migratory birds are heading to northern Taiwan. The Taipei International Bird Watching Fair is happening on October nineteenth to twentieth at Guangdu Nature Park, organized by the Wild Bird Society of Taipei. This year's theme is neighborhood. As Taipei's largest bird watching festival, it draws bird watchers. From across Taiwan and around the world to Guangzhou every winter, located along one of the world's eight main migratory bird routes, Taiwan attracts nearly seven percent of the world's bird species, thanks to its rich ecological resources. Visitors may spot the rare black-faced bunbill at the park. For more information, visit www.birdfair.org. Tw. Finally, here's the latest update on sports news. The medals for the 2025 World Masters game were released at a press conference on September 26th. The design blends the skylight of Taipei 101 with Queen's Hat rock formation in yellow, 
representing both Taipei and New Taipei. Taipei City Mayor John Wan An commented on the design. The World Masters Games will be held from May 17th to 30th, 2025, the first time in Asia. Registered athletes will receive a welcome kit that includes a backpack, towel, water bottle, and t shirt. For more information or to register, visit www.wmg2025.tw. That was Taipei News for the Week. Tune in every Friday at 10 a.m. on Taipei Broadcasting Station or stream us online at tradio.gov.taipei. I'm Kenneth Chi. Thanks for listening. See you next time.